Hi everyone, welcome to the first artist vlog for quite some time. Um, by the way, I used to call them studio vlogs, but I decided to change it to artist vlog because they're not always in the studio. Um, they kind of cover and document my life a little bit. Um, the focus is on art, but I thought it would allow me more scope to show you lots of different things. We've had a lot of snow over the past month and very frosty days. The temperatures have been below freezing on so many days and really, really cold at night. And you can see from this footage I shot one day that it just carried on snowing and the snow got thicker and thicker. So I'm just going to leave you to look at these beautiful images. That evening, just before it got dark, I looked out of the window and I saw our dear family. The one on the right is the mother and the other two are her children. <laughs> and um, yeah, they were playing in the snow and they seemed to really enjoy it and were play fighting each other and it was just a really nice sight to see. thought it would be nice in this vlog to share um, a few of the things I've been working on recently. These are four of my new canvas paintings and these went into a shop update in late January and um, they've all gone off to their new homes now so it's really nice to have them on film. And here's a new collection of my painted stones. I hadn't worked on any painted stones for absolutely ages and um, I suddenly had an urge the other day to paint some new ones so that's what I did and I did a little surprise shop update and um, yeah these have all sold as well so they're all going to be heading off to their new homes this week. Another thing I've been doing recently is swatching my entire collection of watercolour and gouache paints. Um, I've never done this before, I thought it would be a great idea to have them all swatched out in a watercolour sketchbook so that I have it to hand for easy reference and um, it's also in preparation for all of the new watercolour paints that are going to come into my life very soon. There are actually a series of videos um, coming up that I have planned 
all about watercolour painting, building a collection and um, creating different colour palettes. It's going to be a real series of videos so this is just the start and um, I filmed the swatching and while I'm swatching them I'm going to be answering your questions in a Q&A as well so that will be the next video that comes up after this one. You may notice that I've left several pages blank between each colour group that's so that as my collection grows I have room to swatch them in the book so yeah I've ordered a lot of new paints I'm really excited I've um, I've got a lot to share with you in the next few weeks So this is currently my entire collection of watercolour and gouache paints. I don't think it's too bad for someone who's a full-time artist and you know I do this for my job so yeah I'm bound to have quite a few materials but I really had um, a declutter recently and I gave away a lot of the paints I wasn't using, some that I'd had for years and that were duplicates because I used to, um, as some of you know, I used to live in Paris for a while and um, I had a studio there and a studio here in the UK but um, and that makes it sound much more fancy than it was it was <laughs> like a corner of the room really in the apartment in Paris but yeah so I had double double the materials in some cases anyway they all have good homes now and so I edited down my collection and I'm replacing certain things with paints I know I'm going to use and love and new paints to experiment with anyway we'll talk more about that another time here I'm just showing you my collection of Gansai paints these are all from Choosing Keeping the small sets are the retro watercolour sets 1960s 70s and 80s themed sets The large one is their winter themed set which Dominic bought me for Christmas and I absolutely love. I haven't used any of these a lot at the moment apart from this tiny one. This um, is a set of tinted blacks and I have used these quite a bit. I've had them since the summer but um, yeah a lot of the other sets are really recent for me so I need time to experiment with them. But um, yeah, so that's my Gansai collection as well. <laughs> store all of the Gansai paints in this gorgeous blackbird pouch. This was another present from Dominic at Christmas and I wasn't intending to use it for that but they fit in there perfectly and um, it keeps them nicely stored away in the studio. Mm -hmm. 